So I saw where Kyle Korver is working with Ben Simmons. Now, you're a great shooter. I'm trying to figure out what, where do you start with Ben Simmons? Well, the problem, I think, with Ben Simmons is, look, there's a lot of guys that can go teach you know, proper mechanics and all those things and, and focus on the right things. I mean, there's no question. So a lot of people qualified to do that. Problem is, how do you change someone's wiring in their, in their brain? And I think Ben Simmons' biggest issue is between the ears. And I don't know what he has ever done to address that. Because I really believe, and I said this the next morning on the air, after that last loss against Atlanta, that Ben Simmons needs to spend a good portion of his offseason dealing with a sports psychologist. Because what I watched was not normal. I watched a guy with elite-level athletic ability basically um, refuse to process obvious scoring opportunities for himself. And it wasn't just that one play that we keep talking about when he turns in the post He's got a wide open dunk and he passed the ball to Matisse Thibault. It's not just that play. That was the culmination. That was when everybody jumped on because it was so obvious. But if you watch that whole series, I mean, five fourth quarters in a seven game series, your starting point guard does not attempt a field goal. That tells you the guy's going out of his way yeah. to, to process obvious scoring opportunities for himself. And that's a lack of confidence. That's a guy that's dealing with something that's interrupting the natural flow of, of what his body wants to do. His muscle memory is shot and it's between the ears. So yeah, mechanics. Yes. His elbows out to the side, his wrist looks funky. All of those things. I've seen guys, with weird mechanics make shots. It's he doesn't see what he's supposed to see and have his body react to that. He avoids those situations. And by the way, Dan, throughout this entire scenario, all this stuff that played out all summer and into the fall. And now he's finally in Brooklyn. Guess what? No one has talked about whether he's addressed any of that. So when he shows up on the court in Brooklyn, that little thing, that issue, I was joking, he put it in a carry-on bag and he flew up to Brooklyn. When he got off the ho- plane and got to the hotel and he opened that bag, that little issue was still in there. Mm-hmm. It travels and it's going to surface again because he hasn't really addressed that. And I think it's a, honestly a psychological issue with his confidence more than his mechanics. Yeah, that's well put. 